Hey everybody. So this video today is going to be a foundation review. Let me come in a little bit more so you all can see my face. Okay, so today's tutorial, well, not tutorial, today's product review is going to be on the Aqua BB um, Beauty Balm by Kiss. I use a, the medium, uh, the tone, medium tone. I have it on today. Um, please excuse my hairline. I will, I just colored my hair so it has, you know, the dye stained me. But, um, yes, I used a mattifying base underneath because it's hot and it's summer. And, it, and that mattifying um, primer helps to keep me from sweating. So, I put that on and then I put on the um, BB cream and I finished on my makeup. This makeup for me is good for about six to eight hours, a regular day wear. And it covers really well for me. I actually did not conceal under my eyes or anything. Um, not because I didn't want to, I kind of forgot. And let me see, I'm looking in the mirror. Let me see. Yeah, it, it covers really, it covers really well. Um, the transfer I, I get, it's very minimal transfer if I do transfer onto someone's clothes or onto my shirt or something like that. It's like barely in. No, mama, you can't play with my lipsticks, okay? Okay. Oh, excuse me. If you're wondering what I have on my lips, I'm wearing Pink Pop in my Maybelline Color Vivid mixed with my um, Galaxy Chic Lip Gloss from uh, BH Cosmetics. Um, but for summer wear, I find it to be just enough because it's not too thick. It's, a, it's in the middle. Here, you want to sit with me? It's in the middle. It's not quite um, thick, but it's not thin. It's a good consistency where you don't feel like you have too much on, but you feel like you're covered. Um, what was the other stuff? I wrote down all this stuff, but I don't have my paper with me. Um, good regular day wear. Um, I did wear it without my primer one time and I did okay, but in this area, because I sweat normally in this area, it kind of was almost gone by about six, eight hours, but everything else stayed. So that, but that's like with a lot of my makeup though, because I sweat there and it's kind it gets oily and sweaty there. So that's just what happens there. Um, what else? The transferability, the durability, the consistency. I think that's all. Um, it doesn't have a smell. So, so far as a BB cream, because this is my first BB cream, I would say I actually like it because I would use it every day, like a any day, every day type of wear. So I don't have to have a, a bunch of stuff on my face. Um, but about theirs, theirs does have a little bit more of a red orangey undertone, which is fine because it actually fit me, which I was surprised. Um, I just didn't go down far enough on my neck, but um, I am considered medium in theirs. I kind of thought I might need to go get light medium, but because it's summertime, this fits me well. It makes me look bronzy, so it fits for summer. I'll see how it works in the winter. I'm not sure, but um, and it good. it's good, huh, JJ? Say it's a white. Say hello. <laughs> um. Yeah. I keep looking at myself because I'm trying to think of any any other things that I may need to disclose about it. Um, and it's under ten dollars. I think it was seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine at my beauty supply store. Um, but if the price is different, I'll put it in the description bar. Actually, I'll just try to put the, the price in there. But I got it at my local beauty supply store. And, oh, but like, like I was saying, on the scale from, you know, 1 to 10 as an everyday type of thing and for it to have its price, I would give it like a 7, like a 7, 8, because it works well. Low price. Stop biting my sponge, girl. Low price. Uh... You, I, I put it on with my hands, so if I didn't have anything to put it on with, I would be fine. Just put it on with my hands and wash my hands. Um, it doesn't really transfer. If you want to set it, what did you just put in your mouth? Open. 
Jada, that's nasty. Don't do that. If you want to set it, you can set it. If not, you should be okay too. So for people with, because I have normal to combo skin, it works perfectly. For oily skin, I don't think you'd have much of a problem because it kind of is mattifying on its own. The finish is pretty matte. Um, yeah, it doesn't give you a... Um, yeah, I think it should be okay. Because it's perfect for sensitive and acne prone skin. So maybe that's why I didn't need to put any concealer on. Because if you know if you have sensitive or acne prone skin, they know, you know, they because it says it conceals and covers and brightens. So they put the color correctors that you would need in there. So I'm pretty sure that's why I didn't need And that's right, that's how you feel. Okay. So if you guys got any questions about it, please ask in the um, description in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Bye y'all. Oh,